a class one division one space and all of your electrical components are outside of that space. So uh, the computer sends signals into this room through this penetration plate and all of the, the valves open and close via pneumatics. So the computer sends signals to the valve tree, the valve tree opens and closes the valves. Uh, your hydrocarbons are stored in that tank. The, the biomass is ground and loaded into these tubes. Each of these tubes holds 10 pounds. Each rack has six tubes on it, so 60 pounds per extractor. And a single PLC can run up to six extractors at once. So this is our Bravo system. You can have Bravo one, two, three, four, five, six. Gotcha. It's nice because you can start small and then scale up as your demand grows. And how many Bravo systems or how many systems can you have at one time? So with the scale that we're talking about. It depends on your uh, zoning. Okay. So we specifically designed it to run six because if you have a light industrial zone, you can run 300 pounds of hydrocarbons in a single controlled space. Gotcha. Uh, now you could build, I mean, separate pods to help segment a space, or if okay. you have an industrial zone, you can run a lot more hydrocarbons at once. And we have larger scale systems as well. We kind of have a next generation, which I'll show you in the back. Okay, very uh, nice. But the idea is that we start by pulling a hard vacuum. Uh, if the system can hold that really low vacuum pressure for a period of time, then we can be sure that all of our clamps are tightened, all of our hoses are properly connected, and the system's safe to run. Very nice. Uh, once it gets that go-ahead to run, it'll open up the valve from the LPG tank and let that cold liquid petroleum gas flow through the biomass and it'll soak for a period of like 30 or 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then it'll start recycling that fluid. So it will turn it into a gas, bring it back into the tank, then dump it again into the tube in liquid form. So it's kind of rinsing or washing all of the oils off the plant. Gotcha. Uh, final recovery, you'll be taking that solution that now contains all of your hydrocarbons uh, all of your cannabinoids in solution with the hydrocarbons. You're gonna run it through this falling film evaporator. This is hot, right. so the gas will evaporate and all the cannabinoid oils will fall down into your collection pot. Then the collection pot is designed uh, to also be the first step of winterization. Gotcha. So it, all the components are mobile. You know, you can have extra rotary racks so you can have your tubes preloaded and ready to go. As soon as one extractor finishes, you can disconnect it, roll the next set of tubes in, and you're ready to keep it running. Oh, wow. The idea is that it's like designed for continuous operation mm -hmm. because with the level of automation, you do not need an operator here babysitting it. So you can set up your programs, get your extraction going, check through your sight glasses to make sure you're getting oil produced in your collection pot, and then you can walk away for the rest of the cycle. Because it'll do, it'll do one tube at a time, mm -hmm. and then daisy chain. So if you know that you're good with one tube, all the rest of the tubes are gonna flow in the same kind of manner. And the PLC will send you messages by text saying, hey, extractor one, tube two, complete or it will tell you, you know, error message. Right. Uh, there's safety mechanisms in place whereby in the C1D1 space and in the uh, electrical component space, there are gas sniffers. So they can detect any hydrocarbons in the air. Mm. If any uh, level is detected, the system will recover all the gas back to the tank where it's safe, turn on ventilation to vent out any fumes that may have built up in the area and then shut itself down. Okay. So even if you had some sort of leak or loosen cable or something like that, if you didn't have someone here, the system kind of takes care of itself. And so we, we actually run most often overnight. You know, we'll get the system going, right. and we'll go home, come back and see what we've got in our pots in the morning. Very nice. So you could achieve 24 hour operation, you know, 24 seven. We don't because we don't have the pull, the demand for our right. oil. There's no reason to build more and more and more inventory. That's where we come in with Verdi Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I love it.